Hello everybody, welcome to my spring makeup inventory where we're going to go through, check out my makeup and we're going to count and just, well, take inventory of what I have, what I don't have, what could be you know, added to my collection or what's, you know, what's missing from my collection, if anything at all. But anyway, so my makeup collection is probably smaller than a lot of other uh, beauty YouTube creators that you follow. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, I still like my collection and I'm building and working on it but also I kind of like the fact that I don't have like loads of stuff um yeah because I feel like if I were to have lots of makeup it would give me a bit of anxiety I wouldn't know what to do with all of it so I feel like sometimes less is more for certain things and also I get to try out these products for a longer time because I've have because I have less I can I reuse the product uh more times is what I'm trying to say so then I can come back at you guys and let you know like how good a product actually is and if I like it enough and if I go back to buy it again Okie dokie. So I think we're going to start with lipsticks. I actually need to get like some more containers. These containers are good. It's a lot better. Um, hello, by the way, if you are new and welcome, please subscribe if you love all things makeup, makeup tutorials and declutters and all that fun stuff. Um, So yeah, these like inserts are from Amazon, but I think we're going to do lipsticks first. I'm just going to put, put them on my drawers. Is that a lipstick? That's oil. So they're oils. I have to try. I think they're all my actual bullet. I think they are all of my... This is like... Oh no, this is a lipstick. This is a lipstick. It is a lipstick. So that should go, shouldn't it? These are like glosses and stuff. That's a lip pencil. This is... Yeah, I don't know where to put my lip pencils. Because that's eyeliners. <laughs> Maybe you guys could help me organise my mask. What's not that messy? Yeah, these are like glosses. I do like a gloss. Glosses and lip pencils I've got in a hair. Okay, so we'll sort that out in a minute. And these, let's take that away. So these are lipsticks. I thought I had more than that. These aren't actually lipsticks though, are they? So I probably wouldn't count them. So this is the Maybelline Vinyl Ink. It is like a lipstick though. Do you count this guys as a lipstick? These are like long wearing lipsticks. I feel like I want to count them, it's not a gloss. I'm going to count them. It's a long wearing vinyl ink lipstick and these are amazing. I'm going to get more colours. I've only got two. I've done some shorts with these. This is like, oh, I don't know what was my favourite one. But one of you commented in a picture I have in my communications, well, communications? In my community post, I mean, sorry. And I have like green eyeshadow on and the lip, I the colour in that one I'm wearing is lippy. It's more of like a cooler toned colour. I could just show you quickly. I'm not going to do lots of swatches though. Or am I? So it looks like this one is like this colour. It's really pretty. It's going to be on me now, isn't it? It's going to stain me. Um, and this one is like more of like an orangey red. It is nice though. I thought a swatch. I always say, oh, but I, don't I feel like I end up doing too many swatches. But I know that you guys like swatches and you get annoyed of guys that do their declutters and make up inventories and they're not swatching stuff. Um, I can't swatch everything, but I always say that and I do. But yeah. But I'm going to include these because they are a lipstick. They're a liquid lipstick, I feel. And they do stay on the lips. No, they don't. They're not like a bulletproof, a bullet one. So I guess. So I've got MAC. Um, This one's really pretty. This is the cream sheen. This one smells so nice. What's this look like? This is like my summer summery shade really pretty i like the little bullet and the click it's so satisfying isn't it did i just tell you what it was so so this one is called cross wires 206 in case you're interested um you're pretty sure you can still get this one but it's like the perfect like put that on your lip like summer shade it's so pretty um so that's just so that's one i'm counting this one this is my newest one to my collection oh got hair might give these all a little wipe down as well before I put them back in. Give them a little clean. So this is the Emily, don't you see? Um, this is the Emily in Paris. It's pretty big, isn't it? Like the stick, the length of it is kind of mahusive. But it's a really nice colour. I feel like though, it might be a bit too light for me. Do you know what I mean? For like, it's really creamy though. But if you want like a light, light nude. It is nice, but I don't know. I feel like it's just a bit too light for me. The consistency of it, though, is really, really creamy. 
and I picked that up for like hardly anything in the sale on the Makeup Revolution website in case you're interested. But again, the length of it is a bit massive in, com com in comparison. Um, this is, uh, I got this in Africa, Canada, number seven. It's really pretty in the Wizard of Oz collection because you twist it up and it's got, yeah, like glitter pressed on. I have used it a few times, as you can see. It's really pretty. I'm not going to get rid of it. It's a really nice, it's a nice red. And let's just do some swatches. So that's more like, that's a lighter red. Uh, would I say that's more like, like a, yeah, like a cool tone red. But looking at it, it looks like a warm one. But on my skin, but the light could be, yeah, I say it's more like a berry one, like a lighter one. What am I talking about? Anyway, so that's that one. So that's one, two, three. I'm still not sure if I'm counting these into it. These are my elf ones. Uh, so I've got, this is my drive. It's a lovely brown. Again, not swatching everything. We are doing inventory. Ah, oh, my newest edition. But how cute is this? So cute. I did this in my video of products that I bought because it was super cute. Because uh, who doesn't? We all do, right? Uh, the packaging, this itself is not that amazing. It's like plastic and the corners are actually quite sharp, I feel. Whereas these, obviously these are square, but they're like rounded off and they're like rubbery. It's like a rubbery like layer on it. I can't explain it, but this is just plastic and kind of sharp. But anyway, this is amazing though. I love that this bit's like scratched in to it, which is so cool. And it's just a really nice, really nice brown. And it smells like chocolate. Yum, obviously a keeping. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's my other elf one, in case you're wondering. This is like a bit of a nude. What is this one? Dirty talk. It's a really nice nude. So this dirty talk one suits me more, but this looks a bit like this, but I think this is one. If you'll see the colour difference, let's have a look. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. So this one looks warmer toned, doesn't it? And this one looks more cool toned. But I feel like the cool toned one looks better on me than that one. I feel like this one just flushes me out more. How funny. Or I'm just not sure about the colour on me. I'm not sure. I think that's what it is. But I do like that one. Uh, and this one is like a red. It's really pretty. All sort of similar colours, aren't they? Well, these guys. That was more. I like this one. Where's this one? Very cool. I like very cool. Anyway, so am I counting these? I am going to count them. Because they are lipsticks. I wear them like a lipstick. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine lipsticks. Is that it? It's pretty cool. Go me. I'm going to put them back in. I have a problem, you guys. Where's this gonna go? Oh, okay. You can go there. If you're not too tall, when you slide back in my drawers, let's see. Also, doing that actually, it's actually nice to know what colours I actually have lipstick wise and what ones I don't have. So, I don't really have really dark colours. That's like my darkest colour I own, is it? Oh, no, I didn't swatch my brown. I don't have a brown lipstick. So, I don't I. What was that one? So, I have two browns. So, the dry from e.l.f. and then the chocolate factory one, don't I? Yeah, so that's like my other darker colour, isn't it? I changed how I put my elves so I can actually see what they are just by looking. And then like I have one mark, I know where it's going to be when I'm just looking at it. The beauty of not having too many, I guess. I know exactly what is what. And I'm trying to rub the other stuff off, but just that's the lip stains. They are really, really good. They're really good. You have to take them off with like some sort of oil. I use coconut oil to take mine off. But yeah. Okay, next. This is going to be really easy. Lip oils. One, two. I have two. I have the NYX Fat Oil in the shade uh, New Seed. And then my other one, which I love. This is my favourite. I like the e.l.f. oils better than the NYX ones. So if I go to repurchase any, I'm going to get the e.l.f. ones. Because I find them less sticky. Oh, uh, what are you? Jam Sessions. Jam Sessions. Yeah. And I like the packaging of this one more. This looks more luxe, doesn't it? I feel. Anyway, so can I get me some more elf oils? So anyway, just two oils. I don't count these as oils, so this be separate. So these are my Burt's Bees uh, 
So these are like the lip shimmer balms. They're not a lipstick. Oh, but what category do these come in though? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, they're not like lipstick, lipstick, are they? So they're not gonna be that. So these are two lip oils. So I've got two, just two, the right two. And these are my Burt's Bees, like lip seals. The twisty things get stuck, which is really annoying. This has got stuck. I feel like I have more in here. Oh, there you go. I had to push it up and then twist it. It got stuck. I have a fair bit left though. Have you tried these? Please go back down. Oh, it's not going back down now. How do you guys get these back in? If they didn't go back down, do you just push them gently? This could go horribly wrong, couldn't it? That's not wanting to go back down. Oh no. I just want to show what it looks like. Like how beautiful is that? It's so shimmery. And what do they smell like again? Yeah, like peppermint. But they don't hurt me. They're not they're not plumping in a horrible way. But it's like a tingle, but it's nice. And they smell gorgeous. I do like the Burt's Bees. I do go to repurchase these. And just the normal lip seals as well. Uh, so this is the lip shimmer in rhubarb. So pretty. And no, I can't get it to go back down yet, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, if that happens to you, I just got a bit of my wet wipe and I just pushed down on it really gently and I managed to get it back in. Okay, that worked. But now I feel like I've got a bit of wet white hair on it, which I don't really want. Great. So this one's watermelon. Is it watermelon? Yeah. That's swatcherini -y. So This one's more of like a pinky colour. But are they beautiful? Do you see? They're really nice though. I do like them. So two different categories. What? So lip balm shimmer, two, and then two lip oils. Boom, done. Okay, what's next? What's next? Let's do foundation. That's easy. Well, I think it's easy. So the ones in here are ones that I'm using that I've opened. And these are ones that I got because they were on offer recently and I wanted a backup. So obviously, like, Wide and Die, full coverage foundation I love. Estee Lauder Double Wear, I always will. I have the shade 1 and 2. Um, and I got myself a backup because it was, like, called offer. And yeah, so I have a new one. So I guess I should count the ones I'm using and the other ones. And I also got myself a backup of the uh, Maybelline Skin Tint because I love it in the shade 05.5. And this is my new one or the, that I've not opened yet. So these are my two new ones, but I'll still count them in because yeah. So one, two. And then this is my Revlon Color Stay in the shade 150 Buff Chamios. But this is an old one now and I feel like I should just declutter it and get rid of it. I don't think anyone's going to want to use it. It's like an older one. It's still okay. I do sometimes still pull up my face, but I feel like I should get rid of it. You know what I mean? You have those old funky foundations at home that you guys, um, you feel like you want to wear it still. You're not sure. That's how I feel about this one. But I'm still obviously going to count it because it's here. So one, two, three, four, five. I've got five foundations. Cool. So three I'm using at the moment, and these are not opened yet. Okie dokie. And I don't think you can see, so the ones I'm using are here, knit. As soon as I open the drawer, they're like, I can just grab them easily. And then the ones that are not opened yet, I put to the back of the drawer, because that just makes more sense to me. Uh, what's next? Concealers, super easy. <laughs> I literally just have two in my collection. So I'm using up the Maybelline Eraser in the shade 01. And I'm using up uh, Fit Me. I love Fit Me. I always go back and get this one. It just doesn't crease on me. I like it. And I got 15. But again, I've said to you guys, unless you're new, that I'm going to get another shade. This matches my skin tone perfectly on my face. But I want to get a lighter shade. Um, this one, I feel, creases on me a little bit, though. I probably wouldn't get this one again. I'm going to try some other ones for myself and for you guys. But yeah, I would always go back and get the Maybelline Fit Me. I just really enjoy this one more than that one. So yeah, that's two. So for face like highlighter, this is like all I have. I'm pretty sure, but we'll, we'll find out as we go. So is this the Elf Halo Glow uh, Liquid Filter? And what shade have I got? What shade are you? You are in. I got it. It's shade one. Fair. So this would just be called like what? So I'm just going to put one liquid highlighter. Yeah, for my face. Mascaras. This is so funny, guys. Literally, I have two. One. That I've done the shorts on and I love and it does not get me panda eyes and it's cheap and yeah and then the next one this one's also really really good but um the brush it comes with is mahusive um just quickly show you now probably boring all the rest of you though if you've seen it all before uh it's just really big and scary 
She's scary. Um, and the other wand on this one is a lot safer, I was going to say. <laughs> safer. Just not as scary. My camera is focusing today. Woohoo. Sorry, guys, about the focusing in the other video I did. Um, it went up and then I watched it again. And I was like, oh my gosh, why? Yeah, I don't know what I did. Something with my sayings. But anyway, thanks for watching that video anyway with my um, my swatching I did the other day. But anyway, yeah, so I just got two. Two mascaras. Okay, this is really interesting to me. I just moved my light away because it's like getting a bit bright on it. So these are like my eye primers. Are they? No, that is not an eye primer. What are you doing in here, lift and snatch? Okay, so primers. This is not a primer though. So I need to move this. This is Revolution Pro Blur Fine Line Filler. Don't really feel like it does much, to be honest. It's like a putty thing. Probably Guernsey clutter it. I have used it though, but I'm not sure. Where's that? So I go through them. So I don't know if I count this as like a primer, but it is like a primer. Well, it's a glitter fix gel. So probably not then. So no, and no to you too. So actual like eye primers, I've got the NYX. But this is for glitter, so is that one? Well, I don't know. So this is the Glitter Fix Primer. Um, so obviously one, the Revolution Pro one, the really light one, which I quite like. Two, and then the Wet n Wild one. I like it, and then sometimes I don't like it. I feel like it makes my eyelid a bit too like stiff and tacky to actually do like eyeshadow looks with it. And then when I do, I find that I'm having to really push the brush on my eyelid with this one. So uh, I still use it though. I'm just not sure if I love it, love it. I think I might like these two better than that one. But anyway, this isn't that kind of video. What am I doing? So yeah, so one, two, three. Um, I'm not going to count this because I use it for the, for the glitter shimmery primers. Um, <laughs> primers. <laughs> I use it for sticking down like glitter shadows, I mean, um, in the corner bits. Um, so I'm not going to count it because it's more just like, yeah. We won't count that, we won't count that one either. Okay, so I'm just gonna say free, free. Yeah, so then free eye primers, and then I just wrote down one like glitter, like gel eye primer, like glue, if you will. Yeah, okie dokie, you can go back in there. What shall we do next? Let's do glosses. And I've got some random lip pencils in here. Go on, so let's get that out there. Let's do glosses. I have a lot of glosses. Because I am a gloss girl, don't you know? I do like my glosses. I do, I do, I do. Just slide them down so you can see. Then we can go through and count them. I love the NYX butter glosses. Oh my gosh, guys. Have you seen the new butter glosses that are coming? You know I'm going to get them. So going to get them. I need to put like a reminder date on my phone. Because I want to get them. I don't like how many I want to get. But I'm going to try my best to get a few of them for you guys. And for me, obviously. Okay, so I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve. So let's go through quickly what they are, what I have. So Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I have the shade Moon. Absolutely love it. And I have one here that I've almost used up. Um, so this is like, yeah, it's the next purchase one. So it's one. Yeah, so that's those two that I have. This is new to me. And this is from Revolution pro is the vegan yeah vegan collagen peptide high shine lip gloss it's actually really pretty pretty um i know it comes across like it's almost like a dupe for this but then it's not this one's a bit more chunky of the glitter but it doesn't look like it i can't explain hang on the only way to do this because i put it on my hands so my right's not so it's going in my wrist so you can see i don't think there's much left in here no, there's really not of any much of anything in there. Might actually just get rid of that then. But here's my newest one. Let's open up. Boop. Let's get some so you can see. So this goes on like that. Oh, I feel like I've just wasted it on myself now though. Because it's so nice. <laughs> no. And then here's this one. I love the stick. I love how slim and slender this one is with the packaging and like the Dover stick. This looks, I don't know, this one feels quite luxy. This one feels sort of luxy, but it's a bit more big and clumpy. You get me? So this one, let's just put it here. So this was a, a deeper one, but only just. Very sort of similar, aren't they, in colour? I feel, anyway. It smells nice as well, like, like, like the moon one. It's just the colour difference. So this one's a bit more warmer, I guess. 
I don't know. There's not really much in it of these two. And on the lips, they look nice. Maybe the Maybelline one is a bit more thicker. On the lips. Or I might just put... It looks thicker. I think I just put too much on. No, it is. It is a thicker consistency. This one is a lot thicker than that one. Both really nice though. Both really pretty. Oh, and this is also new to me, which I actually quite like. It's the Elf Lip Liqueur. Lacquer. Lacquer, sorry. Liqueur. <laughs> Let's drink it. No. Um, what is this shade called? I hate looking for them. Where are you? Whisper Pink. Whisper Pink. Ignore my fingernails. I have been gardening today. And yes, I have washed them, but I can't find my finger brush to get all the dirt out. They have redone this one now, haven't they, though? But this is the older version because they've redone some colours and they've redone the stick. My stick is very straight and the newer ones aren't. So this is quite nice. It's just like a light pink. That's all it is. Just a really, really light nude pink. And then the my NYX Butter Glosses, which I love. I have a fair few. Absolute favourite though is this one here. Um, the Parlane Brown one. I love it so much. I said I was going to rebuy that and I haven't got that one. And that was my Ruby's Lippers. So pretty. But anyway, so how many was that? <gasps> so that was 12, wasn't it? 12 glosses. Happy days. And then lip pencils, really easy. I literally just have three. One, two, three. I have uh, number seven, Ruby Slippers. I have East End Snob. What is this one? Exile to go, my Rimmel. And I have the Clueless one. Just three. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop it there because my kitty winkies need me and I need to do dinner. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, I'll give uh, do another part two of this, of going through this with me. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.